the lead as early as the ninth minute. Shi Jiayi managed to get a touch before the onrushing Shaiful Nizam. That's the Singapore's international seventh of the season. Despite scoring early, the home side had to wait till the second half to extend their lead. Shi Jiayi providing the cross. Saifu Nizam failed to deal with it and it allowed Ju Wun Kyun to head in the second. 2-0 it finished, giving Home United their sixth straight league win. Etoile took on Elbrex Nagata at the Queenstown Stadium. Based on form and recent results, the French should be looking at a comfortable win. But after Gola's first half, it was the Japanese who struck first. Kazuki Kobayashi's long-range effort caught Johan Lacroix by surprise. That goal was enough to hand Etoile only their second league defeat of the season. Tampanese Rovers host Sinkang Pongol at the Tampanese Stadium. Following a 12 surprise defeat to Tampanese, a win would put the Stags just two points behind the leaders. It took them 30 minutes to open the scoring in this game, but it was worth the wait. Akihiro Nakamura's 25 meters quarter gave Fadio Salim no chance. Tampanese then doubled their lead just before halftime. Chu Li with a simple header to take his tally to 13 goals for the season. And there was time for a third. Five minutes from time, Julie's corner was met by substitute Karu Amri, 3-0 to the Stags. Beijing Guan talents were at home to the Young Lions. The Chinese side were looking for an improved performance after back-to-back -back defeats. Yu Jianzhu's eight-minute goal was enough to bag them all three points. That 3-0 win for Tampanese more than made up for their disappointing draw with Geylang last week. Meanwhile, SFFC put four pass Woodlands at the Jalamasa Stadium. Just two points separating Tampanese and Etoile, with Home United not far behind. It looks like a three-horse race for the title, but don't write off the Warriors just yet. The story in the bottom half, defeat for Sengkang and Woodlands meant they still occupy the bottom two. A look ahead to the remaining fixtures in round 22. Home United are away to Elberex. League leaders at 12 face a tricky tie away to the fast improving Young Lions. Then in our live game on Friday, SFFC face Home United. The last game of the round sees Tampanese away to Ballastia at the Tuapayo Stadium. So at 12 registering their second defeat of the season. How will tonight's match pan out though? Let's find out as we cross over to.